Okay guys, so welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video and in this one it's a continuation of the um, CPU pins where I took the uh, 300 grams of um, ceramic CPUs like this so I 300 grams of them and um, I um, processed them to take, remove the pins from the actual uh, ceramic themselves to get these gold pins off so I have them there and as you've seen in the previous video these are quite magnetic still so my um, plan is to actually put them back into um, nitric to try and dissolve as much of the um, the pins as possible as much of the base metal metals as possible and um, there's a few other bits and pieces of stuff in there but again it won't make that much of a difference when I go to process them so all I'm going to do guys again is I'm just going to put them into a jar which I will cover with um, with um, nitric. Sorry, I said HCl probably earlier, but I meant to say nitric. Uh, maybe I did say nitric. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll check it out when I go back on the video. Uh, let me get the little brush just to brush all these pins into a into a corner. Any of them that are left. So again. We're just going to brush these and so I'm not expecting a big um, amount now I could do it more economically other than using nitric um, but uh, for the small amount of pins that I'm doing but I just want to show the process more than anything else um, it's not I know I'm not going to it's not going to be profitable to do that amount but I could have done a lot more um, in it but I just want to try and just give a demonstration of the video that's really it so we have our pins in here and what I want to do is get rid of any of the base material out of that so these will be um, re-filtered after I leave them sitting in the nitric for a while and um, again I'm going to warm the nitric up to get it up to temperature a bit more so that it'll be a bit better reaction once it goes in so it should to start to dissolve um, any of the base metals um, straight away, stuff like that. And then after a few days, hopefully it'll have got rid of the base metals and we'll be just left with the um, the uh, foils, um, which aren't magnetic. As you can see there, if I can get my magnet wherever I left it down. There we go. So you can see if I move the magnet around, you can see the amount of actual metal is still in there on these um, CPU pins. So guys will go outside where again I'll have my gloves on uh, it's in the open air and um, I might put my mask on as well just but it depends on uh, what reaction I get. If I get a, a large reaction I'll probably put the mask straight on but if it's just a low reaction I'll probably just do it because I'll be standing a bit of a distance away when I pour in the uh, nitric acid into the jar here and I'll have it on a bit of heat so we get it nice and warm and we get a reaction hopefully and uh, we let it work away then for a while and we'll check in on it every so often and see how we're progressing okay so i have the um nitric acid here on heat and i have my foil so we'll just take this off heat for a minute we'll put this into the center have my gloves on i'm just going to pour a little bit of nitric in and see if we get a little bit of a reaction so i'm getting a small reaction not a major but we'll pour a little bit more. So I'm just going to leave that on heat for a while. And we'll come back to it and see what sort of reaction we're getting with the heat so that's in the nitric it's just working away so hopefully that will start to dissolve the pins and we'll just be left with the foils left when once they resolve the base the base metals out of it so we'll leave that for a while and see how we get on okay guys so i have it on heat now for a while and um, i've been popping it off and on heat uh, just to get the um, solution working and um, it seems to be dissolving you can see some of the gold floating now on top some of the gold flakes are floating on top i've got a bit of a goldy color to the 
the um, the acid solution but I'm hoping that there's nothing gone into solution but I will do a test on the liquid afterwards and check to see if anything's gone into solution so you can see the fumes coming from it so that's why you can see the fumes are going that way away from me so you can see there actually if I zoom in so you can see the actual floating on top the gold flakes so hopefully as that progresses we'll be getting more and more of the gold flakes so I'll leave that for another while I'll just put that top over it again zoom back out and we let that because you can see the the actual go bit of a gold tinge to it but I'm hoping it's a brown more than a gold tinge and I'm hoping that's just the copper and the zincs and the aluminiums or whatever else um, from the pins is just dissolving in there So we'll check back on that again. We'll leave it for a few days. Or we'll take it on and off the heat and we'll check back and see how it's getting on. Okay guys, so I've left it running for a while on the heat and we have a reaction here now. You can see the color of the fumes and I've just put a uh, wash cap over the top for there. So I'm gonna just stick my uh, mask on because even though I'm out in the open air, I don't want to get any uh, fumes, uh, breathing anything fumes, which again, no one wants to be doing. So I'm just gonna stick the mask on and we'll open it up and we'll have a look and see the reaction. Okay, we'll just stick the mask on. Okay, so we have the mask on, and we're just going to open this and we'll let out some of the fumes. You'll see the fumes coming out straight away. So you can see the reaction. So we'll have it working away, we're just going to get a little. So I can see a lot of gold foils on the top. So I'll try and get a look into the top there. See, so you can see the gold foils floating around. So it's dissolving the pins and just leaving the foils at the moment. So we let that work away for another while and hopefully um, I'll move it off the heat for a while. I don't need that, that intensity of heat. So I'll just move it away for a while and I'll let that work away. And um, I use the sand to try and disperse the heat a bit better. So we'll come back in a while and we'll see um, how we're getting on with them pins. Okay guys, so it's been about a week and a half since I started the um, ceramic uh, pins in the nitric, ceramic CPU pins in the nitric. Um, so as you'll see here when I take this off, we'll have some fumes. So you can see here by the magnet we still have a lot of magnetic pins in there. Not as much as there was, but it will take a couple of weeks to probably dissolve these fully. So you can see them along here. So if I pull that off, they all just fall to the bottom. And if I pull it up, they come back up. So you can see them there. So again. You can see them, all them pins there are magnetic. So I'm going to leave that for a couple of weeks sitting in this. So um, I'll put heat on it every so often and we'll see how they're progressing. Um, this is a long process, it's not a short process. It's a, it's a long process, you can see in there. You see some flakes floating around. But um, it's not a short process, it's a long process with the nitric. Um, we want to get rid of as many of the base metals as possible before we go into the um, acaregia stage. So we leave that on heat and we'll come back to it in a couple of days and see what it's like. Okay guys, so here are the um, ceramic CPU pins that I have and there's still a good lot of um, base metals in there, if you can see here, 
if I pull it here, the magnet, you can see all those base metals, but there is gold floating around. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to filter out what isn't, so you'll see the gold there floating around, all the gold flakes which aren't, which has been freed from the base metals. So you can actually see the gold floating around in there. So what I'm going to do is use this magnet to pull all the base metals and hold on to them while I filter out the gold flakes. So and then I can see what's left in them base metals and if there's still gold on them base metals we'll put them back in, we'll leave them back in. So we'll just let that filter away and see what gold flakes we've in there and we'll see what base metals were left out at the end so before we go on to the next stage so check back in a few minutes okay guys so that's filtering away but you can see here in the bottom we have still gold flakes in there if we can zoom in a bit so you can see there's still gold attached to the actual metal so there's a lot of base metals in there that needs to be dissolved still so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them back into nitric and let that work away and um, we'll come back in a few minutes once I put get the nitric going on this and we'll let that carry on filtering but there should be a nice little bunch of gold flakes in there once we get that filtered through so I'm going to add a bit of um, dilute nitric into that uh, with distilled water to dilute the nitric with distilled water and we'll get it working again and hopefully we can clear up the last of them base metals and um, be able to get rid of it into the aqua region then eventually so I say I'm not rushing this one I'm taking my time I'm spreading this out and um, trying to be um, as efficient as I can to get the most amount of gold out of it so we'll be back in a few minutes once we get this running again in the nitric okay so we have filter through and you can see in here we have if I can get a zoom in we have plenty of gold foils in there so I'll be drying them out and getting them ready for Acaregia and in here we have the rest of the pins that are still um, covered in base metals we'll add a bit more nitric I have a little bit in there and just add some more fresh nitric to get it going And that should do. Give it a little stir up. We'll add a little bit of heat to that and we'll try and get them base metals dissolved as quick as we can. So guys hopefully when they're dissolved we'll be ready to filter the rest out and um, we'll be going on to moving on to um, Aquaregia to dissolve the gold foils so we let them work away in there we should get a little bit of build up of um, of the um, gases so that's why I put a little wash dish on top and um, you can always see the bubbling taking place down here so it's starting to bubble start to react so we let that work away I'll add this to my stock pot um, in case any base metals did get dissolved in it, but it shouldn't be because it's just nitric. But we'll add that to the stock pot and um, hopefully um, later on in the year or we'll do a video on cleaning up the stock pot. So come back once we've dissolved all these.